The governor of Ebony State, David Mahi, has said that the Federal High Court only nullified his election as the Ebony South Senatorial District candidate and not disqualified him. The former All Progressives Congress's presidential aspirant said that the reports of his disqualification were untrue and that he went to court because his name was not published by the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, as the APC's candidate for the senatorial district. Into the Electoral Act, where the, uh, the, the this thing says in Section 31 that where a candidate withdraws, and then in Section 33, then that you have to, you know, what you need to do where a candidate withdraws in Section 33, that you have to within 14 days. And that's what the party did, that within 14 days they complied and notified INEC, and INEC came and they observed the election. So now, the judge relied on the, 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 the lie told by and by saying, look, I was not aware that the candidate has withdrawn. And it's not for you to be aware, because you have to rely on the, uh, the Electoral Act. And so the party, you know, uh, uh, published in the constituency, look, there will be another election on ninth, And that election held. And uh, the same Anne, incidentally, was in the party secretariat when that decision was taken. And there were cameras everywhere that captured her even when she was signing. And uh, she, so for me, she lied on that oath. And the PD, uh, APC in Ebony State, they have taken it up to sue, you know, to say, look, you lied on that oath. But the court did not disqualify me. The court says that there should be a rerun. And the both of them, whether they have withdrawn or not, should be given the opportunity to also try again. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.